This is the Music History Today podcast for September 5th. On today's show, a car accident inspires a classic song, Jimmy Cliff is introduced to America, and GRL loses a member to suicide. First up, though, on this date in 1945, the songwriting duo of Boodle O'Brien and Felice Gadudo were married together. In 1957, Elvis Presley recorded the classic song, Blue Christmas. In 1973, the movie musical that introduced reggae superstar Jimmy Cliff to the world, The Harder They Come, made its American debut. In 1976, the event that was the inspiration for Leonard Skinner's song, That Smell, took place when Leonard Skinner band member Gary Rossington was involved in a car accident. In 1992, John Mellencamp married model Elaine Irwin. In 1997, singer Sean Southwick married TV host Larry King. In 2008, the first guitar that Jimi Hendrix burned on stage, not the one from the Monterey Pop Festival, was sold at auction for $575,000. In 2018, Fleetwood Mac unveiled their revamped lineup during an appearance on The Ellen Show. And in 2020, Metallica became the first rock act to have a number one song on the Billboard mainstream rock chart in four different decades. In classical music in 1950, Gerald Finzi's orchestration of William Wordsworth's Intimations of Immortality premiered in England. Say that five times fast. In 1980, the opera Satyagraha premiered in the Netherlands, and in 2001, John Cage's piece, As Slow as Possible, started. The piece is to be played for 639 years. Yes, you heard that correctly. Well, man did say as slow as possible. In theater... In 1976, the musical Very Good Eddie closed on Broadway. In 1993, the musical Jelly's Last Jam closed on Broadway, as did the musical The Will Rogers Follies. In award ceremonies that were held on September 5th, in 1986, Whitney Houston was among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. In 1990, B.B. King received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And in 1991, R.E.M. was the big winner at the MTV Video Music Awards. However, during Poison's performance on the show, Poison's guitarist C.C. DeVille purposely played their song Talk Dirty to Me instead of Unskinny Bop, which was the song they were supposed to play. C.C. got booted out of the band afterwards. Albums that were released on September 5th include in 1971 when Poco released From the Inside. In 1974, the Jackson 5 released Dancing Machine. In 1975, Jethro Tull released Minstrel in the Gallery. In 1978, Leonard Skinner released Skinner's First and Last. In 1980, Gary Newman released Telecom. In 1986, Skinny Puppy released Mind the Perpetual Intercourse. In 1987, Y&T released Contagious, Grim Reaper released Rock You to Hell, and Motorhead released Rock and Roll. In 1988, Susie and the Banshees released Peep Show. In 1989, The Tragically Hip released Up to Here, Soundgarden released Louder Than Love, Big Audio Dynamite released Megatop Phoenix, and Mick Jones released his self-titled album. In 1994, Shed 7 released Change Giver. In 1995, Die Flippers released Summer Sprosen. The Fall released at 27 points. Dion released Rock and Roll Christmas. Because, sure, September. Close enough to Christmas, I guess. In 1997, Mac 10 released Based on a True Story. In 2000, Brian Adams released Heartbreaker. In 2006, Iron Maiden released A Matter of Life and Death. And in 2011, Queen released Deep Cuts, Volume 3, 1984 to 1995. Singles that were released in the UK on September 5th. 
include in 1969 when the Isley Brothers released I Turned You On. In 1975, Jefferson Starship released Miracles. In 1980, Genesis released Misunderstanding. And in 1983, Culture Club released Karma Chameleon. Meanwhile in America, in 1962, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Where Do You Come From and Return to Sender. In 1979, The Kinks released Catch Me Now, I'm Falling. In 1994, R.E.M. released What's the Frequency, Kenneth. In 2011, Bon Iver released Holocene. And in 2019, Camila Cabello released Shameless. And Miranda Lambert released Pretty Bitchin'. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 5th include Farouk Bulsara. You know him better as Freddie Mercury of the group Queen, of course. EDM producer Kevin Saunderson of the Belleville Three, who pioneered techno music. Composer John Cage, the aforementioned as slow as possible John Cage. Singer Al Stewart, drummer Buddy Miles of Jimi Hendrix's Band of Gypsies. Singer Sigrid Robb. Davi Vanity of Blood on the Dance Floor. Rapper Sway. Opera composer Giacomo Meyerbeer. Reggae singer Jada Kingdom. Drummer Jamie Oldeker of Eric Clapton's band drummer Rick Fatar of the Beach Boys, bassist Juan Alderetti of Racer X and also the Mars Volta, guitarist Dweezil Zappa, Brad Wilk of Rage Against the Machine and also Audio Slave, folk singer Loudon Wainwright III, Clem Clemson of Humble Pie, Terry Ellis of En Vogue, folk singer John Stewart of the Kingston Trio, Willie Woods of Junior Walker and the All-Stars, Mick Underwood of The Outlaws, Dean Ford of Marmalade, singer Sal Solo of Classics Nouveau, bassist Lars Danielson, singer-songwriter Sandra Lurch, the drummer and co-founder of the musical collective The Black Artist Group, Charles Bobo Shaw, band leader and trombonist Albert Mangelsdorf, multi-instrumentalist Jokey Freud, and singer Hans Sach. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 5th include composer Domenico Allegri, who passed away in 1629 at the age of 44. Singer Thomas Norris passed away in 1790 at the age of 49. Composer Francois Devine passed away in 1803 at the age of 44. Composer Ludwig Depp passed away in 1890 at the age of 61. Composer Julian Edwards passed away in 1910 at the age of 54. Pianist E. Robert Schmitz passed away in 1949 at the age of 60. Composer Gertrude Rush passed away in 1962 at the age of 82. Composer Juan Castro passed away in 1968 at the age of 73. Orchestra leader Mitchell Ares passed away in 1969 at the age of 58. Blues musician Josh White passed away from complications from heart surgery in 1969 at the age of 55. Singer George Otts passed away in 1975 at the age of 55. Electric guitar pioneer George Barnes passed away from heart issues in 1977 at the age of 56. Joe Negroni of Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers passed away from a brain hemorrhage in 1978 at the age of 37. Flamenco singer Antonio Mirena passed away in 1983 at the age of 74. The trombonist for the Duke Ellington Orchestra, Lawrence Brown, passed away in 1988 at the age of 81. Singer Renee Klin passed away from AIDS in 1993 at the age of 30. Big band jazz saxophonist for Les Brown and his band of renown, Billy O'Selton passed away in 1994. 
at the age of 68. Pianist Pigmeat Jarrett passed away in 1995 at the age of 95. Composer Salil Choudhury passed away in 1995 at the age of 72. The conductor for the Chicago Symphony from 1969 to 1991, the legendary Sir George Solti passed away in 1997 at the age of 84. Singer Sonny Knight passed away from a stroke in 1998 at the age of 64. Pianist Katie Webster passed away from heart issues in 1999 at the age of 63. Entertainer Giselle McKenzie passed away in 2003 at the age of 76. Musician Thomas Hansen passed away in 2007 at the age of 32. Singer-songwriter Joe South passed away from heart issues in 2012 at the age of 72. Simone Battle of the group GRL committed suicide in 2014 at the age of 25. Dennis Green of the group Sha Na Na passed away from cancer in 2015 at the age of 66. Violinist and musical director Jacques Israelievich passed away from cancer in 2015 at the age of 67. Musician Holgar Zuke passed away in 2017 at the age of 79. Session guitarist and co-founder of the Muscle Shoals Sound Studio, the legendary Mr. Jimmy Johnson, passed away in 2019 at the age of 76. Guitarist Ricky Lee Reynolds of the group Black Oak, Arkansas, passed away in 2021 from COVID-19 at the age of 72. Singer Sarah Harding of the group Girls Aloud passed away from cancer in 2021 at the age of 39. Pianist Lars Volt passed away from cancer in 2022 at the age of 51. And jazz saxophonist Charles Gale passed away in 2023 at the age of 84. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 6th when in 2007, the world lost legendary opera singer Luciano Pavarotti. Pavarotti. 